Hi, thank you for watching a new video blog. Today from the Dutch forest. Will I go back to normal? Will I go back to the old situ situation? Will I take the VAX? Well, the main thing that you have to ask yourself is do you really want to go back to the old situation? Was the old situation much better? In civilization it is interesting Oh, having a barbecue by the way Civilization has been here for thousands of years and in these thousands of years the, um, the main thing that has driven civilization has been agriculture and agriculture is basically the root of all the problems that we have because when people are not able to provide for their own foods they rely on somebody else and they become dependent. Before agriculture we were hunters, gatherers and maybe we kept some cattle like chicken for example and we were independent. We were not depending on anybody else besides nature and nature is easy and gives you everything you need in multitudes. So am I worried about the current situation? Well to me the civilization is a problem in itself and I am not at all surprised that they come up now with uh, more tight rules, with more um, restrictions, with less freedom, with more control. That's just part of civilization. It's nothing new, it's nothing different. They do it in a different way. You want to take the profits from civilization, you have to pay for it. In nature there uh, are less benefits than in a civilization, less luxurious benefits. In a civilization you have luxuries, you can uh, lay in bed all day, you can watch things, you can be amused, that's a luxury. In nature we don't have these things, we have a fire and we have ourselves, people, that to amuse ourselves. So if you think that this is something new in civilization, that is something that is drastically different and I say no it's not, it is what civilization is. They will come up with new rules, with new tactics to keep you in the system. That's what you chose for. You choose to be in civilization. You have an option, you can go and live in nature and any obligation that you have against this is you wanting to be in the civilization. You are in love with civilization. You want to be there. You fight for it. Because many people they fight the current rules, but they don't fight all the other rules. They, they think they, these are normal. Taxes, uh, re restrictions, to what you can do to your house, to your garden, where you live, what you do. All these other restrictions they will see as something positive, as uh, keeping order and control. But civilization is, works like this. You, you hand over your freedom and your independence for some luxuries, for consumerism and for not having to worry about your own uh, maintenance. For example, if you live in nature, you have to, you're dependent on your own power. But if you are in uh, a civilization, you depend on the government to take control of you, to take care of you. So basically you choose to be in civilization and you choose to, to be in love with this. You, you, you didn't choose to go out and, and, and reject it before. You have always loved it. So saying now that, oh, now I'm really fed up with the civilization, it's basically, to me, a bit spoiled. You, if you are somebody that is attentive, you have been seeing how, uh, so what a bad choice civilization is anyway. Also 10 years ago, also 20 years ago, you have always been see you have been seeing how terrible it is. And if you've not been seeing it and open your eyes now, that's okay, that's good, but to return back to the situation before 2020, it's just a minor difference. There's just a little bit more control, they basically force you in some things, but there's not really any difference. You have already been uh, given away so many independence and, and, and rights, that's just, just, just a, something extra. It's not really, uh, in my opinion, something new, not something really I didn't expect. I expected this to happen maybe 10 years ago. Freedom, um, to go where you want, to, to, to sit where you want, to attend uh, concerts and, and festivals and 
uh, bars. I saw them as places of freedom, so sooner or later, you know, the government will take control of it. They want to know what you do. They have now the possibilities, electronic possibilities, so they will know it. That's what you should also have been uh, seeing. We embraced internet, we embraced the technology, because we thought, hey, this makes our life easier. I can now order something online. I don't have to go to the shop anymore in the city when it rains. I can just order it with a click. And now you're surprised that by doing so, the government wants to know more if you want to control you even more. You gave up on this because you embraced civilization. You basically say, hey, come in and do what you want because I already gave up my privacy, my rights, and now there's just a little extra. They know what, you've been, uh, what you have been buying, and now you give up this little extra, uh, and that is where you will go. They you already gave away so much of your freedom, of your rights, and this is not something that happened a few years ago, even before your parents, your grandparents, until the moment where your ancestors um, got talked into agriculture, or maybe forced into agriculture, you have been giving away your rights and your um, freedoms and your independence anyway, so I don't really understand the, 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 the way that people are upset about how civilization works. This is how it works. You agreed on this. You live here. You, you didn't choose to say, you know what, I go in nature, I, I move away, I try to provide for myself. I try to live an independent life. I try to live off-grid. I try to live from hunting and gathering. No, no, you haven't been doing this. Maybe a few exceptions, but I don't think anyone uh, that's watching the video is living out in nature, is hunting and is uh, providing for himself. So, um, it is my dream and my goal to live like this, but for the rest, you have, you chose to live in civilization. Never before you have decided to leave civilization and to return to nature. No, because you think you are depending on civilization for food, for shelter, for uh, to do nice things. And this has been not something new, like your parents did this, your great parents, your, your, even all the way back to, um, to the primitive times before agriculture came, before civilization arrived, before, for example, the Romans tried to force you into living like a slave in the agricultural slave system, the banking slave system. So, nothing new, nothing surprising. This is what, um, what is a civilization. And sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it gets a little bit better, but there's a history of... If you just open your history books and see what is happening in civilizations, how can you be surprised that something like this is happening? And of course, I know, you have to get used to it, and of course, it is, for many people, an eye-opener. And I hope that this will be an eye-opener in the right direction. Not into returning back to civilization, to a normal civilization, whatever that means. No, it should be an eye-opener to embrace nature, to go back to nature, to open up again, to feel... I am really sorry if I um, yeah, made you feel like... Uh, surprised about this or uh, that I maybe make you feel depressed about this but there is the, uh, there is no other way you choose civilization or you choose nature and almost everybody choose civilization there is freedom to choose nature but you didn't so now you're at the moment where you can think hey wait I finally see what civilization is that it's mean that it's not something nice that it's based on a slave system that depletes human spirituality and human uh, divine human uh, spirituality and do I want to be part of this or do I choose to be live something different many people will reject they will say no that's something for uh, weird hippies or for uh, anarchists or whatever it's not me I want to be cool I want to be this but I don't want to sure okay but many will think and see that this is the only answer and the only possibility to to be able to survive 